Welcome to Organic Chemistry Lab at the University of Texas at Austin. Today we will be going over the bromination of e-stilbene experiment. Please remember to obtain a lab coat and goggles when you enter the lab. All right, stop. Okay, don't move, don't move. Stay where you are. You can put your arms down. All right, keep standing there. All right, get the lab coat. Keep standing where you are. Don't move. You can bend your arms again. You can put the coat on. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Don't worry, don't worry about this. None of this will be filmed. Okay, let's go. All right. You're looking really good. Put the, put the goggles on him. Uh, all right, straighten those out. Don't move off your mark, please. Okay, so don't worry about it. We'll do special effects and you can just go, ta-da. Good job, all right. Okay, <laughs> let's see how that worked. Um, what happened to the special effects? Budget issues? Well, the show must go on. Today we'll be doing bromination of e-stilbene. The glassware we'll use is a 25 milliliter round bottom flask, Buchner funnel, sidearm flask, one inch stir bar, keg clamp, and a glass stopper. The chemicals we use are dichloromethane, one molar bromine in DCM, and e -stilbene. Make sure that all the MSDRs are printed out. The SOPs for the experiment are B, C, D, G, H, and I. Just to overview the experiment, place the stilbene, stir bar, dichloromethane, and bromine into the flask. Then put the keg clamp on the flask, and then put the stopper on top. Then mix it for 15 minutes. Isolate the solid by vacuum filtration with the Buchner funnel and then wash it with cold DCM. Save it for next week. To start, weigh out 0.9 grams of e-stilbene into a weigh boat. Obtain five milliliters of the bromine solution and 10 milliliters of DCM. Now place the 50 milliliter round bottom flask onto the stir plate, securing it with a clamp. Next, carefully add the one inch stir bar, the 0.9 grams of e-stilbene, and 10 milliliters of DCM. Turn on the stir plate to get the stir bar spinning. When the e-stilbene has dissolved, add the 5 milliliters of bromine. Now place the keck clamp onto the flask and then loosely place the stopper on the top. Continue stirring until the red color has disappeared and a white precipitate has formed. This should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the reaction is over, turn off the stir plate. Remove the stopper. Now carefully unclamp the flask and remove the keg clamp. Careful, Matthew. Phew. Now place the stopper back onto the flask and get ready for the vacuum filtration. Set up the vacuum filtration apparatus and place the Buchner funnel onto the rubber adapter. Next, place the filter paper into the funnel. Turn on the vacuum and rinse the paper with a small amount of DCM. Filter your product and rinse with about two milliliters of DCM.
Isolate the solid from the Buchner funnel and let it dry over the week. Once dried, obtain a melting point and measure the mass to determine a percent yield. To clean up, dispose of any liquid waste into the proper waste container. Wash all your glassware and then put everything away. Nice technique, Cecilia. Finally, return the lab coat to the rack and the goggles to the UV cabinet. Okay, stop. Okay, let's take the coat off, take the goggles off. Don't move, stay on your mark. Okay. All right, we'll get your backpack. Don't move, stay on the mark. Okay. All right, he'll do some razzle-dazzle effects. Ta-da! Okay, now you're free to leave. Budget issues again? Well, at least I'm getting paid. Wait, what? Volunteering. Should have looked at the fine print in the contract. Stay safe and see you next time.